today I'm going to talk about the Atterberg limit calculation. This says Atterberg limit is usually performed in the laboratory for determining the liquid limit and plastic limit of soil. And the test instrument directly does not give you the exact result. So after you got some data such as water content and number of flow, you should do some analysis process to find the liquid limit as a final result. Here we have a water content and number of flow. Then we need to draw a graph between the number of flow on horizontal axis with logarithmic scale and water content on vertical axis with linear scale. First I'm going to insert, then from scatter chart. From this or this, you can choose one of them. Then right click select data then click on add for the series name you can uh, um, write something as you want a terberg for example a terberg limit limit chart for the x axis mean horizontal scale horizontal axis you should select the number of flow and for vertical axis we should select the water content now we see the relation between the number of flow on horizontal axis and the water content on vertical axis but according to test standard the horizontal axis it should be logarithmic scale then I should select this horizontal scale right click format axis then from here, from access option, tick this logarithmic scale. The scale starting from 1, 10 to 100. Then it's OK. For the minor and major grid line, we should do some modification because it's not clear here. First, I should select this. Add it minor grid line. Now we are adding the minor grid line, but it's not too clear because of the color. Select again, format minor grid line. Then I can uh, change the color, for example, like this, or any color you want. Usually, this color is very suitable. For major grid line, from 1, 10, 100, I can choose a darker color such as black. Same thing for uh, how is, for vertical axis. I sh I can add a minor grid line. Then I can format the minor grid line as before, like this. If you don't like this minor grid line because this may be the drawing area it will be a little complex you can choose a different color for the major grid line I should choose a black yes then we can do some modification for the scale because as we see the curve is not clear because of too small we check the vertical axis start from 0 to 13 but the minimum value for this uh, scale is 22 to 27 I mean if I change this from 20 to 30 then it's okay select this format uh, format format axis axis option minimum 0 I can write 20 here 20 to 28 the increment is 0.2 mean each minor grid line is 0.2 each major grid line is 1 22, 21, 22 you can cha change the scale as you want then we can make a space here 
negative space here select the chart then go into design and add the chart element axis title primary horizontal and uh, primary vertical then here we should write in water content in percent and for and this one no of blow no of blow yes then select the chart and change uh, the font because it's a little bit too nicer here color is very perfect for this kind of chart we can make bold and it is bold now we draw the atterberg limit chart but we need to, to find the liquid limit liquid limit is the, usually the water content from 25 below but here we see we don't have exact 25 we have 20 29 and 20 to 31 in between we have 25 but we should do some modification some interpolation for the numbers directly we can on the uh, we can do it on the chart select this one because the shape of the curve uh, curve is parabola on a straight line we should add it a trend line trend line is a straight line between the most of the point as we see here linear we should display equation on the chart because we need this equation this equation we can make uh, some yeah like this this is the equation of the trend line then we should remove this full line select this uh, and go to design change chart type here select this yes then change the color of the trend line to black is better to black color with full line yes like this yes then we need to based on this equation we need to find the new data for water content because we have a straight line now for x x mean number of flow because it's on the horizontal scale y equal to water content because it's on the vertical axis I can write here water content y and no of blow x then because we need to find the liquid limit based on 25 number of blow we should choose two number between 20 um, two number between 25 mean one number should be more than 25 one number should be less than 25 now i can choose 20 to 29 i can choose 20 to 31 but i prefer to choose 20 to 31 here 31 here 20 yes for y water content we should use the equation First, I should enter the equation minus 0.4146 multiplied by x here plus 35.796. Here is the new data of water content. If you look at the data, from the previous curve is 22.4 here 
because we draw a straight line between the points, so the water content made some change, but it's not too much. Same thing for 20, just we should drop the cell here. Now, here the water content for 20. In previous is 27.3 and here is 27.5. Now, we have two numbers between 25. We can make the interpolation here. Liquid limit. Go to the formula. Find this function, trend. If you don't have this function in recently use it, you can search from the function. You can find easily trend. Then we have three fill required to field. Known Y, known X, new X. We want to find the liquid limit. Liquid limit is a water content. So the y axis is a water, known y is a water content. I want to find this, the number between this number and this number. That's why I select this. For known x, I have 25 number of blow which is constant but I should select two number between 25 from the known of X I should select this from the new new X I should write 25 mean between this number this and this I have 25. For this 25, find the number between this number and this number. Note that in this case, known y is equal to the vertical axis and known x is equal to x axis, but in this case is a special case that uh, almost the axis is equal to the field of the trend line. For in different case maybe it's almost reverse because for for example when I say I want to find the number of low based based on 20 26 percent water content because now I want to find the number of low so known y equal to number of low known x equal to water content new x equal to 26 for example so choosing this kind of field is not depending on the axis it depends on which which one is a constant for you for example here number of flows is a constant because you have 25 we want to find the interpolation of water content that's why water content it should be choosing in the first so using Trend function is depend on the case, which case you have. For this case, I should select this, and then press OK. Now I find water content, it's almost equal to liquid limit. For example, for 20, we have this water content. For 31, we have this water content. For 25, between this we have this water content Be between 22 to 27 then I need to draw some line here we should draw a vertical line here then intersected with the trend line then draw horizontally to indicate that this number is liquid limit what I know the easy way for this horizontal line we need uh, four coordinate 
for this point x equal to 1 y equal to liquid limit for this point x equal to 25 y equal to liquid limit now this is a coordinate for drawing two points on the chart and then click here select add this is x this is y now I have two points here I can select them then go to design go to this select this one now I have a line and then select this format the line change the color to black usually black is used for this kind of thing here we need the vertical line here vertical line for this point vertical line for for this point x equal to 25 y y equal to 20 because the lowest point of y axis is 20 then for upper point x equal to 25 y equal to this liquid limit now have another two point select data then add select this and select this now I have another two point then go to design change chart and select this yes here the line go to format change the color to black then uh, you can choose this here 25 we have a row here and then yes mean for from 10 20 30 25 here 25 to trend line then we have water content 25.4 person then I can move the chart here that's all I can make a title here, select, design, then chart title, we have here or here, above the chart, I can write the turbulent limit, limit, chart door, liquid limit determination or something you want to write here thank you for watching today we are finished see you next time i hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe our channel thank you for choosing civil tech have a nice day